All right, let's try take two. <laughs> take one didn't quite work out. The battery died. Out of the way. Either way, excuse me. Uh, I understand in Europe and other places, uh, not in the Americas, that dash cams are actually mandatory. I didn't know that. When I told someone I bought a dash cam, they told me, yeah, over the seas is mandatory. I, said, mm, I wonder where overseas is mandatory. Maybe you guys can chime in on that. I guess that's, for instance, why we see so many odd dash cam videos that come from overseas. Okay, this is the dash cam I bought. We'll just open the box again uh, and start over again because the battery did die. Uh, we'll just take everything out of the box and then we'll start the explanation what we bought and why we bought it. Okay, and that pretty much is everything in that box. Okay, let's see if we can square that in there. Okay, that's pretty good there. Uh, this is a micro SD card and there's something I'm looking for here. I think here it is, MLC, NAD embedded. I don't know if you can see that right here with my fingers, that MLC NAD embedded. I'm hoping you can. Uh, this is what's supposed to be the proper architecture for cards like this would it work um, being over recorded in loop more often they get more use and for video surveillance and dash cams and stuff like that okay especially such a small micro SD card it has an adapter um, this particular one is 64 gigs I'm pretty sure I paid like $43 for it and they come a lot more expensive. Okay, there are definitely uh, several recommendations. Um, the gentleman who recommended this particular camera, I believe his channel is Car, C-A-R, Cam, C-A-M Central, Car Cam Central. And he recommended a card with this architecture, I believe, by Transcend and possibly one or two other cards but not and disc sand disc excuse me uh, which is probably one of the best cards for photography and video cameras but not quite for this particular application and he explains that and why uh, I believe sand disc does have a particular one that's useful that works with this but not quite as good as with this type of architecture MLC so something to look for if you're gonna have a high resolution 1080p or higher in a dash cam and you want the card to be dependable. You're gonna pay extra for it, but they say it's mandatory for this type of video application. Okay? Uh, Amazon got this stuff. Not my favorite place to get things, but uh, they had what I needed. So I don't like leaving my credit card on fire anywhere. And one of the reasons why, but you can go in and out in your account, take your card out in and out of your account. This is a small little polarizer, which goes over the lens uh, for daytime shooting, which is mandatory here. And there's so much reflection from my glass and from my dash. I had to actually put a little mat there. Um, so I don't see too much reflection. You put a white piece of paper at a certain time of day and it shines on your windshield and it's actually impairs your visibility while you're driving. So this is a must for a camera like this, okay? This works on the A119 and A119S and it says A118C2. Okay, I hope you can see that over there, put that, oops. Okay, uh, see what it looks like. You guys know what micro SD cards look like already, so. There it is, nothing fancy. I've seen what looks like to be the same thing of this. Um, different, looks like uh, medium to light sunglasses. <laughs> uh, just looking at it, so I think you guys can get the true color on there from what I'm seeing on my little display on my camera. It's nice, uh, it kind of snaps in and it can move around here, I believe. The polarizer and it looks like there is yep a back screen a protector for shipping 
Okay, and this can be moved around. I believe this polarizer. I believe Car Cam Central was the one who recommended this particular camera and a few others. And BC Hobbyist is the one who put up the most videos on walkarounds with this particular camera. So you guys might want to take a look at uh, some of his videos to get you ideas if you're interested in a camera like this or this particular model. Okay. I like the Transcend, but this is said to have better IQ, image quality, and possibly better night vision at about the same price range, uh, $20 more. Okay, let's see what's inside. Uh, it's just a cover, no big deal. Actually, some people want to see that side cover. I can't quite get this right. <laughs> um, other side. I mean, for me, it's a bit much, but some people actually want to see this stuff. Okay, and the bottom. Seems very well packed. Nice cardboard box. I believe you can hear that. Uh, this is the dash cam. And it looks like there's an adapter on there. I wonder if that's a GPS adapter. <laughs> I have to find out. I thought it said it did. This is version 2, by the way. So I did have to pay 120 bucks for it. I didn't have to pay any shipping on Amazon. Uh, so that was a nice uh, thing. I had to wait a little bit longer. I think I ordered it. It came like 10 days later. 7 business days after the fact. After the weekend. So shipping was adequate. See actually what's inside before we get to the main view here. Again, recommendation for Car Cam Central and BC Hobbyist does have the most best videos that I've seen on these particular models from Viofo, which is a Chinese brand. You have some poor ratings on Amazon. Seems most of them have to do with the uh, way the GPS module adapted or the adapters adapted to here to the windshield so we'll get to that in a second okay um, looks like extra mounting stuff a little string to take off the 3M tape which can be difficult if you don't want to scratch your windshield with a razor blade stuff like that these black ones I believe they go on the back of the GPS module they have a cutout so they have less play in it okay so I believe that's what those are for we'll have to do a little more investigation. There are other videos on YouTube you guys can see and they explain all of this. I did take a quick look at the module, I mean, manual, excuse me, uh, just to open up eight pages, all English. Okay, you have a quick start guide, excuse me. You have a bunch of other stuff in here. Tells you what to do, okay? Where things are at and, oh, reset. So they got a few other things here. I'm a big fan of reading <laughs> manuals. I'm not one of those guys uh, that don't need instructions, uh, especially with all this new electronic stuff. Just reading their manual is a really, really good idea. I don't know how many people buy cam equipment and refuse to read the manual, and they're always asking me questions on why this works, how this works, and stuff and such. This looks like little tie downs uh, for your cables to ho hold the cables in place. Uh, I'm hoping to put it underneath the moldings in the car, uh, the door moldings pillar molding stuff like that uh, roof molding just fit it in there the cable when I haven't used these but if I have to there they are so it's nice um, looks like a USB to mini USB um, this might be for the GPS going to the dash cam itself I'm sure about that uh, mounting plates you have two different ones if you're using the polarizer, I believe you're supposed to use the wider one. Right, I'm hoping you guys can see those. But you're supposed to use this one uh, for the, with the polarizer, okay? Or you have a second car, you want to move it around. Um, you can always stick something a little more here, some more 3 end tape and get a little bigger and put in different cars. So you can move your camera around if you want to. So that's nice having an extra one of these. This is the cable that comes with it. Power supply comes from your vehicle. When you turn on your vehicle, 
the dash cam auto automatically comes on. Excuse me. Um, this one is kind of important. I want to see if I can get that in there. Says dual USB card charger input 12 to 24 volt output DC volt DC 5 volt 3.1 amp okay and I believe that's possibly indicated like here telling you it's on it's getting current provided to the unit itself okay there's a dual USB there so you can use uh, something else besides your dash cam whether it be charging your phone or something else but right, if that's what it uses a uh, 5 volt DC okay which I'm sure unsure about that this cable looks a little bit aggressive rather heavy and from understanding correctly is because they don't want any drop in voltage or amperage I guess from the charge itself to the main unit okay I'm not sure how long it is but it looks pretty long <laughs> I guess I have to read the instructions in there might be 10 feet or so uh, plus 3 meters okay I have to look at that again but it's pretty close to that okay pretty long so you have good room to put it behind your rear view mirror and route it around the moldings in your car uh, to a power supply okay nice stuff okay dash cam itself $120 the A119 has a tilt this one is supposed to be a 1. F1.6 which is an aperture it's really aperture or uh, f-stop depends on the size of the sensor not just how much light goes to the sensor the smaller the sensor the true uh, smaller f-stop uh, compared to per se full frame APS-C micro four thirds and whatever this is uh, really tiny <laughs> so that f1.6 sounds like a lot but uh, it's not as much as my sound like but it's probably gonna be a lot more helpful than most other cameras uh, f1.6 is probably really close to unheard of in this price range okay it looks like AV audio video uh, USB there if you're not using the GPS module and I believe this is the actual GPS module I do feel a little bit of play there and that's probably where that black stuff goes there to get rid of a little bit of play this is version 2 I'm hoping you guys can see the sliders there they're not actual pins that go up and down they're like bent almost at about 45 degrees right, so I'm hoping you guys can see that okay and once you put that black cushion in here you do a little cutout you're gonna have a lot less play in there there's not a lot of play there but a little bit um, I believe this goes on the windshield and the camera goes facing forward like that that would be a camera this would be the windshield facing forward and you would be watching over here the LCD display this is possibly two inches or something like that uh, really nice button selection readout stuff like that uh, very good adjustability. There's where the micro SD card goes in. They say you got to be careful not to force that card in. Put it in carefully in this slot right here. It only goes in one way. Okay. Uh, said to take about 64 gigs. Some people have said certain cards might work with 128 gig, but uh, I would buy 64 gig unless someone else has a 128 gig or they allow you to test the 128 gigs somewhere. Then it's going to be very difficult to buy one and know for sure it's going to work okay but 64 gig is recommended uh, for this uh, particular unit and probably uh, the A119 also and this is version 2 the version 2 is basically this GPS adapter is uh, the way it attaches to this is different and it's not just four pins it's actually those four like look like little bars that slide up and down or tracks okay really nice looking unit uh, rather impressive uh, looks a little small love the f stop on the lens um, would have liked it where I can turn it around if a police officer is in the car and I can 
feel I'm here, but being that inconspicuous and at this price and this kind of image quality and night vision, uh, night image quality recording uh, from front, I'm not sure what the degree is on here, 135, so that's respectable. 135 is not 150, 160, but you're going to be able to zoom in a little more if you have to get something in focus uh, in video software. I do not know what kind of video files come out of here. Interesting. <laughs> Since video is one of my things I've been practicing for a while, off and on, mostly for YouTube, so I have to find out what kind of video files come out here if they work uh, with Corel. Corel Video Studio Ultimate X9. Which is what I'm using now. I have not upgraded to the Ultimate X10 yet. I'm not sure it's necessary for me. All right. Uh, really great looking stuff. I don't know what to say. Uh, big shout out to Car Cam Central and BC Hobbyists for doing their thing, helping us novice get us going. And there's so much more going on with this much later. And I will definitely be up late, updating you guys, excuse me, little by little and showing you some of the quirkiness we get here with drivers in the U.S. I'll see you guys later, right? Bye.